Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids and we're at SHOT Show 2017. We spent a day out at the range and now we're out on the floor looking at all kinds of gear. We're looking at bushcraft knives, survival knives, folding knives, flashlights, packs, and so much more. I want to give a big shout out to Thrunite who helped make this trip possible. Now let's head out onto the floor and see what they have for us. All right, guys, SHOT Show 2017. I'm here at Browning at the Black Label section, which, the, which is their tactical line. And I'm with Jared Wahangi. We see each other twice a year. Two Jareds, one here and one right there. Yeah. <laughs> Everywhere you look is Jared Wahangi. That's, he's like a ninja. It's kind of scary, but uh, twice a year. Uh, SHOT Show and Blade Show, and I come over and kind of see what they're doing. Really cool line of knives this year. Uh, uh, as he's gonna explain, not just like, oh, it's another tactical line. They've done something really different and very unique and uh, honoring some really cool heritage of Jared. So let's uh, jump into it. Okay guys, so what we've got here is our new line for Browning Black Label for 2017. We did something different this year. So we wanted to do a um, Weihongi signature line of knives, but we wanted to do it different. We didn't want to do, be another um, set of tactical knives and a sea of black knives that you'll see in, in a lot of shops when you look in the counter. So, um, what we thought we'd do, well, we, we got the idea, the inspiration walking around the Iwa show in Germany last year. And we saw some um, uh, kind of, uh, I guess they were outdoor type knives and they were putting designs on the blades in. Um, so we thought it would be cool to do that with some traditional Maori tribal tattoo type designs. They're not just tattoo designs and, and traditionally Maori would carve them into wood or bone or stone weapons. So we thought it'd be cool to put that onto the blades themselves. So um, that's what we did. We could design some knives that, that I really liked, and uh, and then we found a way to put those designs into the knives. Had a, had an actual a cousin of mine who does traditional Maori um, art, tattoo art. He uh, designed the knives, that, the, the, the designs that we put on the knives, and all. And this, and this is what we came out up with. So this is this is one of them. Again, it's one of my favorite. Um, I wanted a dagger that had the features that I like in a dagger, so we came up with this um, design and then we put the, the tattoo art um, or the carving art into that. We also included on a lot of them the Philippine Sun. A lot of my influence in the Philippine in the, in night, when it comes to knives is from the Filipino martial arts. So we, that a lot of them have the Filipino Sun, which is a symbol of the Philippines, and that kind of gives homage to that that influence. So that's one of them. We did a a kukri inspired design so it's not a true kukri based on the angle of the blade but it's a kukri inspired design um, it's a really nice chopping blade and the artwork really flows with the, with the design of the blade both of those have uh, tech lock style um, belt clips on and kydex holsters uh, we we did uh, let's go with this one here so we did the a tomahawk we want this is more of a tomahawk's more of a fighter it's got a very light and, 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 and nice balance it's got a spike and a chopping end it's not long it's not too short it's kind of in the mid-range and it, can, it feels comfortable whether you're holding it up to what I call a choke grip all the way up to the top or down in the handle um, and again it's got that, that same artwork um, there's these ones here these are kind of, you know what I would classify uh, the great, great utility blades but they're also great fighting blades um, they've, they've got a great um, retention with this canoe style handle good it holds holds well in the hand both of the forward and the reverse grip on the fixed blade version of it we've got this kind of diamond type jimping on there that makes it aggressive so that uh, one if you're using the thumb to place there or two and the reverse grip can be used to cut, kind of catch it's got some good friction in there um, and it's kind of got a modified kind of Warncliffe style blade on there and we wanted to do the same um, in a folded version, it's a, so it's a little different, um, so that it will actually be able to fold into itself. But we've got the folding version of that also. Okay, um, and then we have the um, attachment, and so this one's got a it's a, it's a frame lock. Got a, it's a aircraft grade aluminum with titanium coating on the handle, and it's, what this one has is. We call it attachment because it comes with three variations of that scale. So you can put black, tan, or carbon carbon fiber on there to kind of give it a little different feel. The designs kind of flow really nice on that. It's got a great design blade, fits really well in the hand, opens really, really smooth. So that's um, what the other folder. These are all got great, great price points. For example, that's a forty dollars at full retail. So these are all priced priced to sell. Um, I think that was the whole line. And then for the SHOT Show, we've got a couple of SHOT Show specials. Kind of got a different color scheme. This is a 
uh, uh, hemp micarta um, handle and uh, stonewash blade and then we've got these, those uh, tri Maori tribal designs and they're also a big one and then uh, a smaller version. So that's the that's the entire lineup. Again, I think I, I wanted to make sure that we had some designs that kind of were solid based on the merits of the blade itself or the design, but um, we want something again different and I think we really accomplished that. Stands out a little bit with those, those, those designs that we put on the blade. We've found a lot of people that wouldn't typically go out and buy a knife uh, telling us they want to buy one of these because it just looks so cool. So um, a lot of good feedback uh, on these knives for the show. What's up guys, Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids bringing to you another EDC light that I used at SHOT Show. This is the TC12V2. This runs on an 18650 battery. It does have from a very low firefly setting up to a very high setting and strobe as well. Your output on the TC12V2 goes from 0.5 to 21 to 200 to 472 to 1100 lumens. Another noteworthy fact about this light is that it's USB rechargeable. For some people a flashlight like this is a little bit big for EDC but for me it's just fine. I used it all day today at SHOT Show. It didn't bother me and I wasn't really aware of it unless I had to take it out and actually use it. This is what it looks like in hand. As you can see you've got your end switch to turn it on and then your selector switch there. And I was actually using this in the hotel a little bit, shining it down the hallways uh, later at night when no one was awake. And man, this thing definitely throws quite a bit of light. Links are down below if you want to click over to Amazon and pick up one of these lights again, the Through Night TC12 V2. Thanks for checking out the videos. More coming soon. Take care.